is it allowed to do a quran khani or the the khatme quran uh, the personal thing is if it is allowed and the permission permissible to do uh recite a quran on on a deceased person uh when we came to know that if you read uh the entire history or the complete sira book of the prophet sallam, or any sahaba we are unable to find any authentic source from any sahih hadith or, or any hadith of any sahaba that uh, that any sahaba like the group of sahabas have been reciting a quran of the particular sahaba was being uh, died and all the sahabas got together and they recited a quran to send the reward uh, to the dead but uh, we are unable to find any uh, authentic proof of that so this is not allowed to do that but if we come to know the authentic uh, teachings of the prophet sallallahu the prophet sallallahu said when somebody died they all uh, his deeds comes to an end except uh, the three and the, we know that is our uh, the children who makes a dua and uh, the person who leave any education on his back and the third one is uh, he builds something uh, on his back that uh, sends a reward to him and even he did not do that but maybe his children or maybe his students or any other person can do the investment in somewhere with the near of sending the reward to uh, to the disease but we do not find any sources of, uh, of from any the teachings of the prophet and we do not find any type of uh, sources from the sahih hadith where the sahaba or the prophet themselves or any sahaba we do not find any uh, source from any life of from any sahaba that any sahaba has get together in a gathering and they have recited the quran and with the niyyah that the reward goes to the deceased so this has been uh came to existence from just that some times ago but usually this, this happens in india uh pakistan or the bangladesh and i'm sure there are many other countries who does not have the knowledge of the authentic hadith so basically they just follow their imam and the local masjid so they do and they just get together to recite upon with the niya so they does not send the reward but and so we have to understand from here so should we just follow the prophet teaching or should we follow the teaching of somebody else because the prophet said that the, these are the three things which is going to stay alive uh if somebody is passed away so except these things they, I, they don't there's nothing ex mentioned in any sahih these there's something other that's going to help a person on the day of judgment